Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the Red Storm Report right here on SNY. Now, if you follow the women's program, you know that they're pretty good, ranked inside the top 25, mostly for the entire season. However, recently, perhaps their toughest opponent, breast cancer, they try to knock it out. That's our all-access piece. Aaron Sharoni takes it away. Hey, I'm Aaron Sharoni, and welcome back to another edition of We Are St. John's All Access. In honor of breast cancer awareness, women's basketball teams across the country will be rocking pink for at least one game. It's called Pink Zone Week. And right here at Karnaseka Arena, the New York Liberty hosted a Pink Zone basketball clinic for kids. We had a chance to catch up with the former WNBA star, watch the kids at the clinic, and of course, watch our Johnnies as they took on the Georgetown Hoyas. Well, we're here with Coach Duffy. Coach, thanks for joining us Thank today. You. So we have a special event going on here. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity for some kids from around the area to be able to come have a basketball clinic before our game against Georgetown today. So it's a great kind of collaboration of a lot of great uh, basketball today. Now, the pink zone being for breast cancer awareness and the clinic going on at the same time with the young girls, how does that help raise awareness, you think, for breast cancer? And what does that mean to you guys? It's such a special day for us. I know we're trying to raise a lot of money and just get the awareness out there. You see all the kids are running around in, the, in their pink t-shirts and, and today our players will be in their pink uniforms and get kind of the message out that it's a disease that needs to be um, addressed and, and, and supported too. Hey well I'm here with a very special guest, Miss Kim Hampton former center for the New York Liberty. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Can you tell me a little bit about what the breast cancer awareness component of this means to you? Well, I had an aunt, she passed from breast cancer, so it means a lot. I think it's just very important, especially for the young girls again, to teach them to be active at a young age, to just give them knowledge about it. At this tender age right here, they know how to implement smart things into their lives that can help them, you know, later on down the road. So it's, it's huge and all of us, up to all of us, every female. Absolutely. So wise words from a wise lady. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> Thank you Thank so much you. for being here. Thank you. You as well. Take care. One, two, three. Stay on. Four, five, six. Stay on. Well, it looks like the kids had a ton of fun with Kim Hampton. Now let's roll over to Karnaseka and check out the game. Kathleen Meehan. Kathy, thanks for joining us. Good to have you, Aaron. Now there is a ton of pink in the house, and I understand it's in honor of Pink Zone Week, which is a nationwide effort that St. John's is taking part in. So can you tell us a little bit about St. John's involvement? St. John's, a Think Pink and the Pink Zone is all about breast cancer, you know, and raising money and awareness about breast cancer. And it was started by the WBCA, as well as uh, raising money for the KL Foundation. So part of our efforts in nationally is raising money and awareness for, for that foundation, and this is our effort to take part in that. Well, thank you, and thanks to everyone for a job well done here. Go Pink Zone. Well, lots of great stuff going on here for Pink Zone Week, but it's also important to take pause and understand the facts about breast cancer. Did you know that breast cancer affects women of all ages? Being physically active can significantly decrease the risk for developing the disease. And if caught early, breast cancer has over 90% survival rate. So stay active and keep informed. Good job, Aaron, for a great cause. And oh yeah, by the way, the women's side, they topple the Hoyas. I know St. John's fans always enjoy that. Never gets old. That'll do it for this week. Coming up next week, the Johnnies battle Pitt, a top five team. And I'll tell you what, depending upon how they do, they might be inside the top 25 themselves. I think they might. Enjoy it. We'll see you then right here on the Red Storm Report.